Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon, actually redoing the one that I just did because I, I, I realized that a lot of you couldn't see or hear me, and, and that's just the enemy because I didn't have no problems with the other ones. So I pray that you can hear and see me, so I need someone to say mic check or something if you don't mind. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, hallelujah, how is God? We're not going to let the enemy win. Come on, somebody, That that's what's wrong, the body of Christ right now we give up too easily he never said it was gonna be easy come on somebody he never said we was gonna just have a light rod come on somebody he never said it was gonna be all sweet come on somebody hallelujah to his name so if you can hear me I need you to say mic check praise God if you can see me clear praise God thank you prophetess thank you so much hallelujah hallelujah yeah y'all know I was gonna redo it right I'm not gonna let the devil win Time out for letting him win. Oh, come on, somebody. Time out for letting that fool win. He has been doing too much damage to the body of Christ, and we're not doing anything. The devil is alive. So this one is the same as the other one, but I'm going to reiterate everything. I was having prayer with God, and God said, Deanna, my people don't understand what time it is. They think they're just living in a world and they just, you know, you go to college, come on somebody, you go to school, you so say live the American dream, but what you don't understanding is that who are you serving? Who are you worshiping with your gifts and talents? That's what's wrong. I don't think you understand what has happened here, but here's the deal. Who was the choir director in heaven? It was Satan. That's why the music industry is so corrupt because everything that Satan does is perverted. Come on somebody. You see, God never gave you a job. God gave you a work come on somebody most of you that are working are under a system of pharaoh you're under pharaoh system come on somebody that's why you're tired you know you're tired i'm talking about you we watched our grandfathers we watched our mothers we watched our uncles sisters brothers those that are older die with nothing work all their lives and die with nothing oh come on somebody i'm gonna tell the truth up in here tonight because we are under a pharaoh system and god is trying to turn it back to a biblical system because god never gave if you a job god gave adam a work to do come on somebody it's a difference between a career and a calling most of you are running after career and that career always end up in heartache come on somebody you're tired you got to sacrifice you got to compromise for something that god never told you to compromise for that's what's even going on in the body of christ come on somebody y'all doing everything and everything underhanded not even of God and want to attach God's name to it. Talking about, oh, he blessed me. Stop lying on God. Because if you got a sin to get it, then God didn't send it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't let the, the, the world come into the church and tell the church how to operate. We don't operate like the world. And God is tired of it. God say, no, we are not of the world. That means we don't think like the world. We don't talk like the world. We don't act like the world. We don't operate like the world, God says. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God wants to know who are you serving with your talents and what God are you really worshiping because that's what's happening I know y'all don't want nobody to touch this but I'm going to touch it anyway I, God told me to give you an example Whitney Houston and I loved her oh I loved her music we, you see once the 80's and 70's and 60's we grew up on some good music y'all growing up on some garbage yeah I'm going to call it what it is garbage sex drugs alcohol anybody want to hear about that we already know about that come on somebody hallelujah Whitney was supposed to use her gift for God. Come on, somebody. But guess what? The devil snatched her. Come on, somebody. The devil snatched a lot of them that we love. Michael Jackson, Prince, Luther Vendros. Come on, somebody. They had pure gifts. They had trumpets in their throat. Hallelujah. That was supposed to glorify God and God's kingdom. But no, guess what? Secular. The secular world came and snatched them up and said, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. Oh, I'm going there. Gospel artists, too. The gospel artists, most of them started in the church. All the artists, they started in the church. But gospel don't pay that much. Come on, somebody. Why not, right? But so they went to the secular side. And you ever notice when they get tired or get older and, and they, they work as an album's not selling no much? that much anymore what happened they come back to to the gospel and come on somebody y'all know it's true and, and y'all say oh they're christian they ain't no christian more than or you are christian some of you come on somebody let's just be real up with that so god wants to know who are you serving who are you serving who are you serving with your gifts your talents what god are you worshiping because here's the deal whatever god you worship that's what's being spewed out in the atmosphere. Y'all wonder why our children is in disarray? Look what they're listening to. Who they listening to? They listen to murder, mayhem, stealing, drugging, thugging. 
And y'all wonder why we have a society that's out of order? Because everybody's out of order. Because first of all, you kind of come back to the oracles of God. Even the house of God, you sit up there and you talk about, oh, Beyonce, just because she said Jesus. That woman ain't no more of Jesus than some of you. Come on, somebody, just because they say Jesus. How are they living? How are they living? How are they living? I don't want to hear all that foolishness. I ain't, I ain't the person to play with. I'm going to tell the truth. Hallelujah. Yes, we love them. I'm talking about the ones that are of Jesus, the ones that are not. No, I do not love demons. Those that have sold, they sold. No, I don't love demons. Don't ask me to. That's on you. You do that foolishness. That's why you connected and corrupted at the same time and ain't got no spirit of God. Because everything is a spirit. Whatever we connect to, that is who we are. Hallelujah. So God just wants to know who you're repping, who you're serving. Huh? Because guess what? He's tired of y'all playing that la-la game. What is the lie? One minute you're serving God, the next minute you're serving the devil. Come on, somebody. Pastor Jamal Bryant, how you going to go be and, and be with Tweet, your girlfriend? She's an R&B singer. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't, I, that's not the only one. Megan Good, husband. She always wearing her body out. And yet you have the nerve talk about you a pastor and you can't control your wife. The Bible say husbands. You're supposed to wife submit to your husbands. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I wish y'all stopped lying. That's what I wish. I wish y'all stopped lying to the people so the people can get it right. Sitting up there. But but the reason why they praise y'all is because y'all got money. Y'all got fame. Y'all got a name. Y'all naming lights. Come on, somebody. Let's be real. But if Jesus was on this earth, I wonder how many of you would stop playing. Because he would call you, your generation of vipers. You snakes. Because that's what you are. And stop getting jealous, too, of another um, preacher, pastor, throwing slings on Facebook. It don't matter Facebook, no book off look. If a person has the anointing and you don't, don't get mad. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who you repping? Who are you serving with your gift? God wants to know. Because God is tired of you saying that you're serving him, but you're sleeping with the devil. Thinking about the devil. Wanting the devil. And, and the Bible says that don't even be envious of them. Some of you are envious of them. Because they got money, fame. Who world is this? This is the devil's world. That's why they rich. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't know what time it is? What Bible have you been reading or haven't been reading? God wants to know, who are you serving? Time out for all that foolishness. Time out for just want money, fame. You don't understand who you're connected to? You can't get high unless you apply with them. Come on, somebody, because it's their world. And they give you everything that you, they got. If you give them your soul, are you serious? This is a soul thing. This is not about your talent. I know you thought it was. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just telling the truth up in here tonight. It's time out for playing. All these devils singing these songs, spirit, our spirits all in your ears. And yet on Sunday, you want to try to go preach and all you're doing. And let me address another pastor that said, I'd rather, I'd rather um, go to a, a church physical than Facebook. I beg to differ. I just want the anointing because here's the deal. If the pastor or preacher, woman or man is not right, and they spirit out all them spirits, adultery, lying, fornicating, stealing, prosperity, that stuff going in the air. So every time somebody enter in a church, boom, it's dropping on them. So what am I saying? Your church are dirty. Your sanctuaries are polluted. It ain't about Facebook, no book, whatever. It's about who's anointed and who can cast out demons. But be mindful because demons can't cast out demons. Y'all need to stop playing. It's time to stop playing. Stop playing church. If you're going to be the church, then be the church. If you're going to be something else, then be something else. At least back in the old days, we knew what time it was. Now, y'all want to mix holy with unholy and got to get want to get in front of the people and talking about, I, I, I'm this and I'm that. We can, don't you know even a sinner can see through you? A child could see through you because the spirit of truth is real. And you're right, Tiffany. The anointing starts at the head. So whatever that pastor, preacher, or anybody got, it's trickling down to everybody. And you wonder why your whole sanctuary, your whole congregation is polluted. That's because you polluted, man of God. You polluted, woman of God. 
Like I said, who are you worshiping with your gifts and talents? And then the church got the nerve to be bowing down to the world because they have money, status, fame. They're getting a star on a, 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 a sidewalk. Who cares? Where are you going to spend eternity? Hell or heaven? Because I promise you both are real. No, I ain't never been to hell, but I've been to heaven. Y'all sitting up there playing. This war is for your soul. And that devil make it look so good, don't he? Well, if it's so good, then why they die so bad? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real. If the stars got it so good, why do they die so bad? And that ain't nothing to laugh about, by the way. That hurts my heart. That's because you pastors and preachers, you ain't did your job. Even the ones that could have saved them. Y'all y'all didn't care. Y'all cared about their money. Because you should have told them the truth when you was in their vicinity. And I know some of you, so don't play with me. You never, you never, you never showed them the gospel. You never preached them the gospel. Because you was too busy in their pocket. Man and woman of God. And how I know? Because I was friends with some of them. You notice I say was? Because once I start preaching, oh, we don't want to hear that, Deanna. And, and, whatever. I'm going to tell it because guess what? I won't have the blood on my hands. Hallelujah. I won't have the blood on my hands. The devil is a liar. That's it. That's all God wanted me to say. I don't put no more on it. Don't take nothing away from it. But y'all better make up y'all mind. Because guess what? A storm is coming. And that storm? Ooh, that storm going to tell where you at gonna take that chip because i know y'all think it was not coming but it's when it's quiet that you need to be nervous it's when it's quiet you need to start praying because they up to something i'm telling you i can feel it in my spirit hallelujah to his name so god bless you and, and, and i just do it out of love and in my passion my passion i don't want to see none of you go to hell that's my passion so i don't care about what nobody talk about me you can talk about me all day long hmm how you doing I love you. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers because that's who you are.